community cookbook. And um, they're going to tell you a little bit about what's cooking today. So I have a vegetable biryani, and we have tandoori chicken. Both of those recipes are featured in the Upper St. Clair cookbook, Flavors. It has been published by the Community Foundation of Upper St. Clair. Uh, a group of 18 women, we call ourselves the Women of Wednesday, have been working for about two and a half years on this book. Um, it was illustrated by Ellen Lime Cooler, some gorgeous drawings of Upper St. Clair, and the cover was designed and painted by Elizabeth Hayes, a, mm -hmm. a certified decorative artist, and she also lives in Upper St. Clair. We're just thrilled with the book. It'll be available in November. Order forms are at the library. That's $15 plus sales tax. Mm -hmm. Both of Chaya's recipes today are featured in the cookbook. Uh, the one, veggie biryani, <laughs> is um, in our meatless chapter. Right. Uh, and chicken tandoori, of course, is in the poultry That's chapter. That's correct. So, so let's start. Let's explore some of the spices that you're right. using. So you're ready for something hot. I'm not hot. familiar with them. <laughs> I'm not familiar with all of these. That's fine. I think that's with everybody. And that's what scares people off, that if it's spicy, I don't know the spice. I don't want to cook it. So you're doing something and we really need, simple. We need to know where to find them also. Oh, that's fine. OK. You will, because in the last four years, in my upper St. Clair, I have seen the giant eagle every aisle grow yeah. every day. And, and it's wonderful. Things I needed to run to buy in the Indian grocery store, I don't have to do that anymore. Great. Okay. Well. Okay. So we start with the preparation for tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken. That's right. And that's like any simple barbecue you would do because it's a barbecue chicken. So the preparation is very similar. You need a bit of planning, a little bit ahead, but not so much of cooking time. So, so it will be marinated. Right. So we start with our meat first. Now our meat, that's the chicken, is going to be skinless. We okay. don't use skin at all. Okay. That makes any part, say whether it's your thighs, it's your drumsticks, it's your breast that you're using, fat free. Okay. More or less. Remove the skin. Right. Remove the skin. And also, as you can see, some of the pieces I left the fat on, uh -huh. I normally trim it. Trim the fat? Trim the fat off. You right. don't need it. Because it has its own quite a bit that will keep it juicy okay. and tender. Okay. And then you take these pieces that you've cleaned and you slice them so that your marinade goes oh, okay. through All right. real nice. Mm -hmm. So when you marinate it, the So they've been right scored in. a bit mm -hmm. on the top. The marinade will then That's right. be absorbed mm -hmm. better. Yeah. Okay. Because our spices need time to get okay. into them. And that's the reason why we've taken off the skin as well. All right. Because if you leave it on the skin, if you didn't eat the skin, you're not going to get too much flavor. Okay. All right. There it is. And that looks like about a quarter of an inch or so slash. Right. There. Good. Depending how big your pieces are. I mean, I personally work, like working with thighs. Mm hmm They can do the whole chicken. Okay. Simply because they're juicy. Mm hmm And they have just the right combination of that little fat and little meat. Good. Okay. So I personally like doing that. Okay. okay now, we start with the marinade. And the base is going to be sour cream. Traditionally, yogurt was being used, but that yogurt was being made at home. Uh -huh. And we don't do that anymore. Right, right. So what comes closest to that flavor is sour, sour cream. cream. But you could use yogurt. You could. Plain. But the reason being that yogurt, when you heat it up, it tends to leave water. Oh, all right. So it so separates. It separates. Okay. Whereas sour cream, you're on high temperature. You can cook okay. it without right. having any chemical changes. Yeah, that's good to know. But I'm yeah, for about two pounds of chicken. All right, that's about five pounds. I'm taking two pounds Sweet. of chicken. Uh, what? I have a cup of sour cream. Right, and that's what I'm doing here. Okay. I'll mix all these things together. This that's sour cream. And I'll take a little bit of ginger paste. Now you get all these things in your local grocery store. So ginger paste. Ginger and paste. what aisle might that be found in? Would that be found in the, mm. or maybe in the produce? You should find it there. These days they keep it on both aisles. OK. They keep it in the produce as well. Uh, produce. Yeah, maybe in the produce. And yeah. it's ginger paste. Ginger paste. Or 
You Could know, you use fresh ginger, you grated? This is just convenience. Convenience, okay. <laughs> and it looks like a, a heaping One teaspoon. teaspoon. A heaping right. teaspoon. And I do not like using um, what you call the puree, the paste of garlic, mm -hmm. because somehow it changes taste. I mean, I would like fresh garlic, minced garlic. Mince. Minced you, garlic. I mean, fresh, nothing like fresh, frankly, mm -hmm. anything. Nothing okay. like fresh. But I'm just doing it because I'm, you know, it's convenient. Okay. Purely. Okay. But a lot of us like to do that. You know, just pull things out of the refrigerator. So far, it's not affecting your taste. All right. The flavor is still there. The flavor is still there. So one teaspoon of that. A teaspoon of minced garlic. Right. Okay. And now we get on to the spices. All right. The first one, I think a lot of you probably already know about it, the garam masala. I've seen that in a lot mm -hmm. of recipes, and a lot of other recipes in our cookbook <laughs> call for this ingredient. Right, yeah, thanks to me. Yes. <laughs> chai, okay. chai has been quite a contributor. For right, us. so you will be buying something like this if you cooking, and most of the recipes that are. Now, do we need to go to a specialty store for this? No, now no? it's available at the Giant Eagle. And, and what? Uh, area? Would it be in the spice ethnic aisle? Ethnic, ethnic aisle. In the ethnic aisle. You might want to check even in the spice, but or I the think spice it's, yeah, I okay. think it should be there. Garam masala. Garam masala. All right. Yeah, it, it is a combination of Let me smell whole it. spices. Yeah. Hmm. That's a beautiful color. Right. Okay. It's a lovely color, mm -hmm. as I can show you. Mm -hmm. Chaya has owned her own restaurant in Bombay, India. Yes, and, and, uh, and Bangalore, India, they're two different cities. I had two restaurants at the yes. same time. And, and she's been just such a valuable member of the Women of Wednesday. We've learned I, an awful I, lot from her. I'm just happy to be there. <laughs> it's just fun. It's been a lot of fun. I'm just so happy to be there because, it, you know, it just makes you feel like I'm part of the community. Mm -hmm. Well, you are. Been here for four years, yes. I think. And, and I love it. Good, good. And I can't imagine what I was doing here, you know, anywhere else before. <laughs> So this is really nice. Good. Okay, so what we're talking here is I can have some whole spices that go into it, mm -hmm. making the garam masala. And oh. I'd like to show that to you. Oh, so garam masala it is... Comes from a whole combination of whole spices. Okay. It's a cinnamon stick? Cinnamon stick. You can see cloves. Cloves? Yeah. And mm -hmm. you can see cardamom. 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 Oh. There are oh. two different kinds. What I have here right now is green. You have black one as well, which goes into it. Mm -hmm. And also peppercorn. Black peppercorn? Yes. Okay. And dried up ginger. Dried ginger. Okay. Yeah. So, so you roast all right. them all and you grind them. And okay. there is a principle behind roasting it because number one, coming from a hot country that it comes from, things rot real easy. So it has a longer shelf life. Oh, roast the it. roasting is done to preserve it. I see. Okay. Without adding any sodium, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. Good. So Good. this is... How much are you going to use of that? Now, this can be a little hot because it has peppercorn. So I would suggest that if you don't want it really, really hot, go easy on it. And okay. you can change that. I mean, it's okay. not necessary. You have to put as little as What is easy? <laughs> what amount? Uh, that looks like a half a yeah, teaspoon. Yeah, that's what I would choose. And this is easy? A this half is a easy. Spoon? This okay. is easy. So it's a gentle right. heat. And right. I see another half a teaspoon going this in. This is the okay. ideal. You want to get okay. the full flavor in, this okay. is what you want to do. Good. And for people who really like hot pot, then you can, which I do. Mm -hmm. I step a little bit on red chili powder. Just a little bit, huh? Just a little bit. Oh. That's half a, a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And here's my salt. And salt. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is a very interesting container. Yeah, I how, use that all the time. How handy for spices. Yes. And I, so you're not undoing yeah. all the jars and shuffling no, them around. Do that. That's and also, great. I know when I'm getting rid of you know my any of my spice, I need I know I need to go and get stuff. I like the store. way that's organized. Right. And this is coriander powder. Coriander. That's, yeah. That'll be another teaspoon. Okay. And this is cumin powder. Cumin? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that'll be I love cumin. cumin. Oh, it has tons of flavor. Mm -hmm. No matter which way you use it, you use the whole cumin, you use the powder, you can roast it, love just it. about any way you like. Good. And also, if you can get some lime juice, 
lemon lemon lime. juice actually you will have we have a lemon right squeeze the whole thing in. Up. about a half a lemon right okay and now we're just going to so we'll mix it up mix it up and this is the marinade for tandoori chicken that's right a lot of people do not like using egg in their cooking they don't like, pardon me? Using egg? Egg. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because of the smell. But if you, you can actually use an egg. In instead. this marinade? Yeah, you can. You can. Because egg always helps coat. Yes. Yes. The so yolk. It, yeah. The yolk would right. help so it if too. you're doing an open barbecue, then it makes sense because a lot of it drips or sticks mm -hmm. to the grill. So mm -hmm. you may want to use an egg. Oh, that's, and a, that's fine. That's good. Yeah. Now this could be broiled in the oven. Yes, I or done eat. outside on a grill, just open like fire. any other barbecue. All right, I mean, just like any other chicken, you would cook mm -hmm. probably a little less than the others because you will marinate this for at least eight hours. Okay, that's the real flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do a shortcut and do four hours, but ideal eight hours. Eight hours. All right, plan ahead. Right, that's true. And another thing which is optional, normally you go to any Indian restaurant, you probably order tandoori chicken, you get this red dish. But none of the spices here I've used, right. I wouldn't it's get that color. Right, it's not pearl red. No. So it's just the color. And if you have a problem with the color, just skip it. Okay, okay. But if you like it, and if you like the visual appeal it gives. So what is this? This is a red, edible color. An edible color? Yeah. It's a pretty color. Yes, it is. Very maroon. Right. And oh, that's okay. how you would probably get your chicken. Oh. But and like I where said, orange red powder. Uh -huh. Oh, and where might this be found? This I right now buy from Indian grocery store. An Indian grocery store. And uh -huh. it's and Bush, we have one. B U S H. And we do have an Indian grocery yes, we do. store. We do, which is not too far. And it's in Green, Green Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Right. That's in the Boar's shopping area. Right, that's right. So we are pretty much ready. All right, she's right. Has everything incorporated? Everything incorporated. So you see, it wasn't that difficult. Was no, it? no, <laughs> not at all. Yeah. Put the chicken in. Yes, we'll just put the chicken in and rub it nicely. We will just let it sit there for preferably overnight. Okay. Now, shall we cover it with uh, a, a plastic wrap? I would do that. I normally okay. like to keep it in a... I, I, I have a... Oh, you have right a, a cover for the dish. Right. Yeah. Now, I, I assume that you would not put this in a metal stainless steel yes. bowl. That I would, would not like be that. good. Yeah. I think a glass or a ceramic dish is best. Definitely. Definitely. That's a good point, Candy. I think um, that's really... The metal will react. Oh, yeah, sure. In the marinade. Yeah, I won't like to do yeah. that either. That really is a good choice. But like I said, overnight would be ideal if you can okay. do it. But if you can't, I mean, you know. Could it marinate for two days? Well, or would that be too much? You know, that might be a little too much because okay. it just cooks it so fast that you don't even know, you don't get that bite of okay. the meat okay. that you like, you know? Right, all right. So, yeah, Very good. no, I definitely would. So there your marinade is ready. All right. And it goes into the recipe. And we will put this in the refrigerator. Right. Let me just clean that up for you. Okay. Very good. And tomorrow, all I'm going to do mm -hmm. is put a little bit of oil on it before I stick it into my broiler. Because broiler tends to dry. So now, should this be broiled on a rack over a cookie sheet? Yes. Because it might drip a little bit. Yes, so. it would. It would drip a lot. So a roasting rack over mm -hmm. a pan. Right. Okay. That's what I would do. And how long do you think it would take to, uh, to 15 grill? 15 minutes either side. Okay. You want to flip the side. Yes. Uh-huh. So 15 minutes on okay. either side. Okay. Okay. Very good. And that's it. All right. Now, what else are we going to do? What we're going to do now is the veggie biryani. All right. The challenge for people who don't eat meat. Okay. <laughs> because that's a complete meal. It can be a vegetarian dish. It can be a complete meal, yes. A complete so meal. All right. right. Also, it complements really well the tandoori chicken. A nice so, side dish for tandoori right. chicken. Right. So you also. have people who don't eat meat. You have people who eat meat. So you just make these two things, and you you know you have your dinner ready. Okay. Well, we'll be back in just a moment and start some 
Veggie Veggie biryani. biryani. Right. A vegetable rice dish. Thanks. Right. Thank you. All right, we're back. Um, and we're working on some rice to go with the veggie tandoori biryani. chicken. This is called veggie biryani. 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 Uh-huh. And Chaya, what are you doing there? I am trying to get rid of the starch from my rice. Oh, and that's why the water's looking cloudy. Right. And it's going to look cloudy for a while as I'm gently going to rub this rice. So you're you're really washing the grains. Right, I am. well. I okay, am. with cold water. That's right. Ah. And taking the starch out, the rice won't be sticking then, will it? Sticking also, as you know, that you know, we, you're trying to reduce your starch from your diet. Yes. It's not really good for you. So Okay. So it works both ways. So you good. Know. And what kind of rice is this? This is basmati, which has become really popular now. It's the long grain rice. Mm -hmm. basmati. basmati, long grain rice. That's and it's correct. available any grocery any store. Any grocery store. Mm -hmm. All right. And this rice has a very nice aroma of its own. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's, it's very different than the converted rice. It is. And it is. Uh, but also, by itself, it does not have as much starch as you find in the regular rice. I see. I see. Well, it certainly is getting a good bath there. <laughs> right, it is, it is. But you know, you want to take care not mm -hmm. to break the greens. So you want to do a very gentle rub. Okay. And now this dish we had in um, our vegetables and side chapter in the cookbook. And mm -hmm. we moved it to the meatless yeah, uh, I, chapter. That's correct. And the reason you know is because it's, it's a, a whole meal. It's a whole meal. It, um, mm -hmm. I, when the rice is cooked, it will be combined with some vegetables. Right. Vegetables, some nuts, mm -hmm. some raisins. So, you know, you would have your proteins, your... Raisins, raisins proteins, carbohydrates, good. just good. everything. Now, the, the water's starting to look a little less cloudy. Right. And it, that's the indicator that... Starch is getting out. The starch is leaving the rice. Right. And also, if you really don't want any starch at all, mm -hmm. there's another way to do it after you've done this. Normally, the ratio you would cook basmati is in two is to one. That's one cup of rice to two cups of water. One cup of rice to two cups of water. Right. Uh -huh. So what do you want to do if you want to get rid of the starch? You want to do one is to three. Oh, so add an extra cup right. of water Right, but the trick here is as soon as you find your rice is just being done, mm -hmm. you drain it just like you would a pasta. In a colander. Like that. I see. I see. That's good. And that's when you get this texture. You can touch it and see. Oh, look at this. This is so light and fluffy. Right. And the kernels are separated. Exactly. That, that's terrific. So that is. That's, that's good to know. Right. So that's the way to do it. And especially okay. if you're doing a mass cooking. You know how rice tends to stick together? Yes. Yes. Very hard to handle. But if you want to do this, and that way, you, no matter how much rice you cook, it's going to be a separate thing. That's great. That's yeah, great. To I know. think we've sort of done a okay. good job here. We've sort of done that, a lot of that all looks, this stuff. Yes, that looks right. almost clear, the water. Right. And you can see, you know, it's kind of getting a little whiter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see the green yes. as well. Yes. Good. Okay. Yeah, so well, that's let's move over to the stove. Right. We're going to speak up a little bit. We have a fan running. Right. <laughs> this, the kitchen is wonderful. The uh, township, Upper St. Clair Township, renovated this kitchen about three years ago. It more than doubled in size, and it's a commercial kitchen, and it's available to anyone in the community to use. Just check in with the recreation department for a permit. We um, are started. heating a, a non-stick skillet. Yeah. And what, what degree of heat are you using? Actually, I'm on medium right now. On medium, OK. Yeah. And Here comes I'm, some olive oil. A little bit of olive oil, say maybe one tablespoon. Okay. That's what I'm using. About a tablespoon of olive oil. Right. And wait for it to heat it up. I just swirl it around so that way. Mm -hmm. I know it's a nonstick, but it still helps. Yes. To get the even color. Okay. On whatever I'm frying. All right. An even color on the frying. Right. And we're what vegetables? Oh, well, what's this? What we're what's doing this? here before we do any cooking, mm -hmm. we're going to do the garnish first. All right. And that's going to be your broken cashew nuts. Broken cashew nuts. Right. Uh-huh. And some raisins. And these are raisins? Yes, these are raisins. Oh, golden, golden that's raisins. Right. That's right. Okay, good. So and and um, you're 
you're not using peanuts. Because I know a lot of people have peanut allergies. Mm -hmm. So when you're cooking for a big crowd, or even if you're cooking for your family, I think cashews are fairly cashews. safe. Cashews are a little safer. OK, yeah. I do hear an awful lot about peanut allergies now. And, yeah. and actually, most of the cooking, I mean, I, don't, I, I can't make such a random statement, but in general, you want to replace nuts, mm -hmm. peanuts, with any other nut. Cashews are the best thing. OK, OK, that's good to yeah. know. All right, we're going to brown, brown, brown them, brown yeah, them, just, just a little. Okay, okay. Well, we've had an awful lot of fun working on this cookbook, and um, as I think I said, there are about 18 of us. We're called the Women of Wednesday, and we're doing this for the Community Foundation in Upper St. Clair. Right. And we were amazed at the number of recipes we received from people. Everyone in the community has just been so generous and contributed so much to this project. And it's, it's just been another way to contribute. Um, it's so helpful to the community to, to do some volunteer work and, and to just help showcase our community and get out there and, and find some of the wonderful, interesting people that live in Upper St. Clair. I, my daughter and Chaya's daughter are in school together, and they had known each other. But I, you know, Chaya, as I said, has been here for four years, and yes, I, I had have. never, never gotten to know her family. And, right. and um, just working on this cookbook, we've made so many good friends. For me, it's it's been an experience as if I've just melted into the pot. It is. I'm it sure is. if I hadn't done this, I would still be living under the house. That's all right, <laughs> but it wouldn't be the same. Yeah. We, we do have a good time. And it's a, it's a variety of people. Some are full employed full time, and some of us are at home just running with family and school activities. And, and some on the committee, the kids have, are out of school. They're married. We have some grandparents on the committee. Oh, yes, we do. We have quite a variety of people, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's just been a, right. a terrific bunch to yeah. be and with. In my case, I think I just did crash. Mm. <laughs> and oh, everyone just embraced <laughs> We did. We we enjoyed having you. Right. With us. I, I, I really enjoyed being a part of it. I must say that. Good. Sandy and the gang, like Sandy I Sandy and the gang, gang. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, let's see. You okay. okay, you removed the, the raisins and the cashews That's and right. we and have I put a little more a little more oil. olive oil in. Yeah. Are you Smoking still at a medium so heat? heat? You're reducing it. Yeah, because okay. it's smoking now as you can see. Oh, yes. You don't okay. smoke. Now when you find your spice. Mm -hmm. You have to be extremely careful not to burn them. Okay. It takes them very little to burn them. Okay. But you need to get to that point where you release the entire flavor, so you do need to fry them. Okay. They're being fried to enhance the flavor, but be That's very right. gentle with mm -hmm. it. I'm putting there goes cinnamon the stick. cinnamon stick. And some cloves. That's about some five cloves. Six cloves. Five or six cloves. And, and two cardamom. cardamom. Green cardamom. The green cardamom. Right. Okay. That's my favorite. Just very gently to release the flavor. Release the flavor. I'm sure you can smell it. Mmm. Mm mmm. Oh, that's great. Right. Now, did that cinnamon stick open up a little bit? It will open up. Oh, because, okay. Yeah. It'll open up a little It'll bit. It'll open up a little bit. And I'm taking it off the fire because I right. don't want them right. to burn. Okay. And I'll oh. put in some cumin seeds. Cumin seeds? One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay. As you can see, it's splashing. Mm hmm But take it back to the fire just for a few seconds, not too much. Okay. Because cumin needs to fry a little bit for the to come out. Now I'm going to add the famous garam masala. Uh-huh. Garam mm -hmm. masala. That's right. Which is a combination of many spices. Oh yeah, you know several what? spices. We yeah. went over that with the tandoori chicken. Right. And I, here comes some red onion, purple onions, red purple onions, purple sliced onions, and they're right. sliced. Right. You know what? I put the masala in. I'm sorry. I apologize. That would go a little later because oh, it's okay. gone real fast. Being a powder. Okay. We're gonna saute. Yeah. We're gonna saute. saute the onions a little bit. Right. Now, what we did before this is we cooked some rice, mm -hmm. just to bring you on the same page. Okay. Like we did that. This it's is the cooked basmati rice. Cooked basmati rice. Mm -hmm. So I'm cooking my vegetables separately. All right. To avoid the starch. Otherwise, I could have cooked my rice into the vegetables as well. I see. Okay. If, yeah, if we don't really 
what not so worried about the starch being taken out like pasta. Mm -hmm. Then you just cook it. Okay. Okay. So you have two options. All what right. you're doing here is that. Okay. Yeah. So you just have a container of rice right. in the refrigerator and right. make a make a, a quick vegetarian meal. Right. And if you want, you can do the meat. You have leftover meat from last night. Leftover meat yes, can be added. Just a little bit in okay. your spice and throw it in your chicken and you just have another dish. Great. Okay. It smells wonderful. Right. So after this, you oh. can add all your vegetables. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Uh, basically, you can just go anything you want. Anything you want. All right. You don't like cauliflower, let's say, the broccoli, whatever you want. Broccoli, cauliflower. Ty right. is using some broccoli. Mm -hmm. And some potatoes with the skin on. Potatoes like with the skin on. And you could use a red potato. This right. looks like an Idaho potato. Yeah, these are potatoes. And it's a cube, about a one inch cube on the potatoes. Right. Small. Yeah, I'm trying to do that because I'm florets. trying to keep the vegetable size same. Keep, so they keeping the, the same, same size. Time. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do here. So I'm going to increase the heat a little bit. All right. I can't wait to taste this. This is going to be wonderful. All, All right, right, now the garam masala. Want my garam masala. Now, again, the same thing I would say. Go easy on it if you don't like getting hot. Okay. If you like the spice and the flavor. It's Have yours. a good time, huh? <laughs> Knock yourself out. That's yeah, yeah. Oh, I know people that like to cry when they eat. It can't be <laughs> yeah. hot enough. We have a couple of people like that in our community. We do. I think we do. They love what you bring. Right. Chaya brings us a treat almost every week on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, one, we have a Peking duck recipe in the book. Right. And, uh, oh, one Wednesday we had a Chinese banquet. Yes, it was a banquet. Oh, we celebrated. <laughs> it was wonderful. That was when we had collected all of our recipes, which I think are over 500. Right. We have some Greek recipes. We have Chinese recipes. We have Indian recipes, mm -hmm. Turkish recipes. Oh, yes. I forgot. I mean, yeah. yeah. All of that. Oh, it's, it's just, it's a terrific book. And the chefs and um, restaurants in the area contributed. We had 20, I think, I think 26 restaurants contributed. I like those recipes. I like to know what's behind mm -hmm. those special dishes. Yeah, <laughs> that's been know. fun. And we have um, a couple of recipes that will feed, oh, 300 people. Okay, I'm adding <laughs> a little They're fun salt to read. Here. All right, salt. salt. And you might be wondering why peas I have not added so far. Uh -huh. They cook real fast. Okay. And, but they were frozen. They peas. were frozen. All right. Yeah. Can you put them in frozen or? I put them in frozen because there's enough cooking time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the peas go in at the end because they do cook quickly. They do. Okay. Now, I'm thinking ahead to eating this, and, and but I'm wondering about the, the spices that you sauteed in the beginning. Right. Do I have to watch out for those and maybe not eat them? Mm, actually, they're very edible. Uh huh. But they have a very strong taste. Right. Right. So if you're not, you know, you but don't want to hurt. That, if, you, yeah, you want to take it out. If accidentally we right. eat them. Right. You want to okay. take it out. Oh, that looks so good. Now we let it cook, but in the end, just before uh -huh. it finish cooking, what you can see here is dried up mint. Dried up mint. Mint. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of that. You know, I tend to work a lot with my hands because I'm so used to the spice. Yes. Yes. So. Okay. Yeah, you probably put a teaspoon. Could we use, have used fresh mint? You could have, but I prefer using this more. Simply because it just spreads so quickly. I see. Okay. You have okay. the fresh mint if you grind it, it's going to be wet. I see. Okay. You know, so you prefer you the dry, dry for this. Dry for All this right. Dry. That's good. Oh. Okay. So what I've done here is I've got already some cooked vegetables. Yes, yes. I see. So I'm going to take this out on this one. And show you the cookbook. Okay. This is what I did. All right. These vegetables have been cooked. Right. They look dark. They look dark because mm -hmm. maybe I stuffed a little bit more 
Okay. On my gun, I'm gonna call them. Oh, okay, okay. So this this might really be kicked up. <laughs> right. All right. Probably is. So. Now, I I assume the vegetables could have been cooked the day ahead, and if yes, you were having some Definitely. guests and mm -hmm. everything could have been prepared ahead. Right. So I'm going to heat it up real nice. It should be hot so that it doesn't stick to my rice. Ah, the vegetables need to be hot. Hot. So they don't stick, stick to the rice. cold rice that's mm -hmm. going in. I see. All right. We have learned so much from you. Chaya's um, professional cooking background has contributed beautifully to this cookbook. We have another um, member on the Women of Wednesday, Inger Grenbeck. Uh, Inger was uh, the owner of Deli Alla Park, which was so popular in Upper St. Clair years ago. And, and um, Inger has also, you know, the background, had a background in professional cooking. And, and um, she and Chaya have just helped us out so much with this cookbook. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. You. It's been so much fun that I don't know what I'm going to do on Wednesday now. Well, we, we're <laughs> still meeting. We have to still meet. We, we have to. It's a party afternoon for us. Right. Now. Because my friends are always free. I don't do anything except <laughs> the cookbook. All right, so we are done with it. And, and oh, here is the garnish. The, right. the raisins and right. So I'm gonna garnish. How about that. if we put Can you chop it with cilantro for me? Yes. Yes, I would. We did wash this board. Did you remember yes. Maya had had um, worked with the chicken? on this board with this knife. And it's very important when you're working with raw meat to clean the utensils before you do any other work with them. Now, uh, I forgot to take the stems off. Oh, you know what? That's where the flavor is. Oh, it is? Yes, oh, it's a good it's thing I left them on then? I'm glad you did that oh, because good. I would hate to clean I them. usually spend so much time no. plucking all these tiny that's leaves off of the stem. Flavor. Is that enough? Is that all right? Yes, I think that's, that's okay. good. Yeah. Okay. So what Where I'm do doing you want it? Is I'm just putting the whole dish together now. Do you want it on the top yes, of that? Yes, you please. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle it a little bit. You'll okay. have to use your hands, Sandy. All right. The garnish. <laughs> yes. And the cilantro. Right. Oh, it's beautiful. It smells so good. So you know what, what you're going to have for lunch today. Yes, I Tandoori think we're going <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. All right. And the tandoori chicken. Now comes the tandoori chicken. I need to just finish the dish. OK. You Why just, don't you come over here? Yes, I will do that. Right. We got a tandoori chicken. And we have a dip for the tandoori chicken. That's right. And what is in the dip? It's very green. Yeah, it just has fresh mint, fresh cilantro, and some hot pepper, and some cumin, uh -huh. and some salt. OK, what kind of hot peppers? Uh, ch chili peppers, jalapeno peppers? You know, there is a, it's not right now available at the regular grocery mm -hmm. stores, but it's called Thai peppers. Pardon me? Thai peppers. Thai peppers. Mm -hmm. And are they green? They're green. And how large are they? Are they're they... really small, actually, not very big. And they're okay. slim. So. Very slim and mm -hmm. small. Thai very peppers. Slim. Oh, and Yeah, but they're dynamite. <laughs> so you dynamite. And, and I assume that if you clean them, you have to be mindful of the seeds that might burn your hands, much like the ch right. what you chili and hot peppers. If you're not really into very hot peppers, mm -hmm. just remove the seeds. I would do that. Okay, remove the seeds. Okay. But it still has a lot of flavor to mm -hmm. skin, so. Now, did you put this through the Cuisinart? Yes, uh, I did that. food processor? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's very pasty. Right. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is put some sour cream in. Okay. And the reason being is sour cream is going to cool it down. Uh-huh. And all the spice that you have in tandoori chicken that we put is going to be cooled down by milk. It will calm the heat. Right. It definitely okay. will. Okay. And, and it lightens up a bit. And you have some vegetables around the tandoori chicken. It looks like some peppers. Yeah, what I do, I normally just toss and the vegetables onions. in. And okay. when I'm, you know, when, you, when you're grilling it. Or yes. 
So because that's really nice if you have little onions with it. Yes. It's, it's not a must, but I just do it. Some onions and bell peppers, mm -hmm. it looks like. Some yes. yellow bell peppers in there. That's right. It's a beautiful so there dish. You are. And now what um, what would I do? I would I would have a piece of chicken and, and spoon some sauce on the chicken or on the side. Oh, you can dip it. Or you can dip it in. Dip it in. Dip it in. Can I try a piece, please? please. I'm going <laughs> to use my fingers. This there looks is no better so way to eat wonderful. Indian food except with your fingers. And I just dip it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, try it. Mm. This is wonderful. You're terrific. I need Thank a spoon you. for the rice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I have to try that. You have to try that. Mm. 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 It's terrific. It's ter it smells, it looks mm. good, and um, Isn't she great? I think you all deserve a hand. It's fabulous. <laughs> uh, buy the cookbook. That's I hope I so. $15, yes. $15 I plus think sales so. tax. What a wonderful, wonderful assortment of food. And we will be back with Cooking with, with cooking The Women of Wednesday. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks for having oh, us. Well, I great. know, we enjoyed that, it. That